Welcome back to the channel. We're smoking all my dragons. Divine, righteous, almighty, greats over achieving, never slacking. Today we have a song I've never heard before. Uh, this is America, a horse with no name. So hold on, let me let me look this up real quick. America, band, like I had no clue there was a band named America. It's like I'll come across these. Like sometimes suggestions or recommendations, and I'll, you know, I'll, 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 I'll uh, put it up and be ready to react to it. But I'll come in with no knowledge of um, of the band, so it really be a first time, a pure first time reaction for you guys. So me, this is me finding out right now that there was even a rock band named America. So we are gonna hop right into this uh, original link in the description. Here we go, a horse with no name.
Mm. They gave us a lot to think about. I'm about to pull up the lyrics. I'm going to pull up the lyrics. They gave us a lot to think about just now. So, when a song first starts, they say, On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rings. The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz in the sky with no clouds. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of sound. So, whew, looking at this song, first off, first off, first off, um, this had a real calming vibe to it. You know, when it, when did this come out? I want to, uh, 1971? Back then, people seemed to be so much more chill and relaxed. Just listening to that, it's not, like, I feel like more so music today, you jump up more. You know, you get more of us, more upbeat. Back then, it's just kind of like, relax, bro, like, chill, Enjoy it. Enjoy the vibes, right? Um, but looking at the first part of the journey, um, you know, it's like they're 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 breaking it down. They're, they're depicting, giving you a visual to to sit back and when you do chill and sit back. And I know back then it was a lot of like hippies, so you know, smoke their stuff. They 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 depict everything and break it down so you can really visualize what they're talking about. Like you're visualizing, you know, um, plants and birds and rocks. Like you're you're on that journey with them. Uh, this, in a second verse, it says, "I've been through the desert on a horse." Well, this is actually the hook. Uh, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. They just leave. They leave you a lot of room to think here. Uh, it felt good to be out of the ring. In a desert, you can remember your name because there ain't no one for to give you no pain. Because there ain't no one for to give you no pain. So even looking at that, basically saying even being in isolation, uh, desert, still nature. So being in isolation just with a horse, a horse with no name. So in a sense, it's not even like it's it's not even your pet. It's not even something you own. You just, you, you with that horse, right? You just, you and that horse are just out there and um, you you outside of the the day-to-day -day life of society. You outside of pressure. You outside of heartbreak. You outside of any of that stuff. Um, you know, it's so much pressure of thinking about goals and, you know, so, you know, people probably at that time, if I, if I go back to the seventies, people are probably thinking about if you're in high school, you're thinking about what school, I mean, what, what college you want to go to or not disappointing your parents or, you know, winning football games or whatever, you know, um, just not disappointing your, 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 uh, your parents and, and, you know, succeeding and, just things were changing so much in the 70s, too. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure those parents in the 60s and 50s were a lot more, you know, a lot more strict. I'm sure they didn't play no, play no, play no games like that. So when you got this 1970s, boom, everybody's kind of just on it. I know that blew their mind away. You know, it reminds me of Marty McFly in uh, Back to the Future. Remember when he started playing that electric guitar and everybody's looking like, what is this? And he's like, listen, you, you, you guys might not like it, but your kids are going to love it, right? So everything was changing. Um, so just so much pressure when I kind of try to look at the kids of that, of, of, of that time um, and what they were going through. Uh, a lot, a lot of, probably a lot of pressure and just wanting to get away. You know, they were kind of having their own rebellion. 60s, I've heard some, a little bit of rebellion from the 60s. I say definitely that's probably where it started. But 70s, I feel like it was just, could you imagine that, though, coming from, just to take your mind there real quick, because I'm 31 years old. I was born in 1993, so I wasn't there. But coming from, um, you know, being more of a suit and tie generation to seeing all your kids just start to get, like, hippied out and smoking and, you know, uh, yeah, just, I could only imagine their reaction. So, uh, when just to be, when he said it feels good to be out of the rain, you know, just, just kind of just be free, free. Like there's no mission. There's no, oh, I got to wake up and do this. I got to get this done. I'm just out here. Um, fit, I'm out of the rain. Um, in a desert, you can remember your name. You know, when you think about the desert, it's like, once again, I'm not going to say there's nothing, you know, there's plants, there's all this, but you don't got people all around you. You don't got voices all around you. You don't got distractions all around you. You can... You could just think, right? 
So uh, that that hook that hook speaks volumes. Uh, after two days in the desert sun, my skin began to turn red. And after three days in the desert fun, I was looking at a river bed. And a story it told of a river that flowed made me sad to think it was dead. You see, I've been through the desert storm with no name. And then, and then there's the hook. Then he says, after nine days, I let the horse run free because the desert had turned to sea. Man, could you imagine somebody really like high? Like seriously, what it, and just visualizing all this on um, like, what is it people take? Like shrooms and stuff. Could you imagine them just, this took, these songs was taking them somewhere to that desert. Because the desert had to, had turned to sea. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rings. The ocean is a desert with its life underground. And a perfect disguise above, under the cities, lies a heart made of ground. But the humans will give no love. So when I really break that down, it comes back to, once again, humans just kind of sucking. <laughs> right here, um... Someone said, make no qualms. This is a hippie song about the man and how people are meant to mean to each other, do bad things, and ultimately suck the life out of the world. Somewhat of what I was saying, right? The writer is saying that he'd rather be connected to the natural world and there was still pain and death. Uh, where there is still pain and death, then to be connected to the man-made world because people suck. <laughs> the first verse is all about how we start life uh, filled with wonder at all the things life and the world has to offer. And the first thing he meets is a fly with a buzz. It's multidimensional in rich. Uh, so he's on the metaphorical journey of life only days in and there is pain. It's cha uh, what's it? chafing his skin, causing pain. Not only that, but there is evidence of what once was. The desert is painful, but it is multidimensional and rich. It's particularly not human-made. Death is part of nature. He has to come to terms with that on his journey. So and the, at the conclusion of it all, uh, the journey, he discovers that the rich, multidimensional world still exists. It's not just in the human-made world which apparently just sucks. Discovering the sea is perhaps a realization of this truth. The man sucks and stuff, but it's only on the surface. This all comes together in the refrain, which occurs be between the verses. He left the evil man-made world, and now he can remember himself. Ultimately, someone said they don't think it's a great song. It's it's rife with basic metaphors used inconsistent. I mean, I think it's a great song. You know, I think it's a great song. Um... I don't think it's meant to really, like, try to, like, I don't know, impress people or anything. I really think these guys were just singing from the heart. Just, it was, it's art. It's their art, right? So, everybody had a personal opinion about it. Um, even when, even speaking of art, when I look at the cover, America, and I see, you know, those three, um, those three natives, it makes me think, like, is that how they, did they meet those guys? Did they, you know, or did they maybe... Did they meet that tribe is what I'm trying to say. Or maybe they that's how they view themselves from like a past life. Or I don't know. Or something about that specific tribe that they're connected with for them to want to do that artwork. So, um, yeah, that definitely, that's definitely interesting. It's different. You don't see nothing like that today. Uh, not, not, no, not really, you know, not really. So I respect what they were doing. I respect, um, I respect every generation for the most part, as far as just for their for what they were doing. Everybody had like their own struggle, you know. So with that being said, guys, that was America, a horse with no name. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you all soon. Much love.